If you're a contractor or a building owner who needs a verified digital model that can be used for building safety or FM, the next five minutes should be of interest to you. Clients and FMs have always needed as-built records, but the new regulations make them crucial. If you're lucky, you get a 3D BIM model, lots of CAD drawings and COBE, and then there's photographs and lots and lots of PDFs. Even the people who deliver all of this struggle to tie it together, so the FMs don't really stand a chance. ActivePlan provides the foundations that validates and integrates the COBE files from lots of different models. m and &E installers are more likely to provide schedules, so they're imported and anything else can be added by tagging the 360s, which writes it to the space in ActivePlan, creating an auditable asset record. For us, COBE starts as early as possible with the information requirements and the spatial containers in ActivePlan to hold the assets and validate them as we go along. They can check that all the different schedules are sharing the same key references. Asset managers call this progressive assurance, active plan validating the asset data and open space the construction. This will be great for FMs who are using soft landings and should reduce the risk of disputes and retentions at the end of the project. Both active plan and open space are Autodesk developers and integrate with BIM 360 to help deliver a very practical as-built model at a fraction of the cost. Plus, it's much easier for FMs to update with any changes. We found Rattigan Construction in Ireland very tech-savvy. They realised this new joined-up way of working meant that they didn't have to add product data into Revit. The models told them where asset types should be installed, so they persuaded their specialist contractors to use ActivePlan as part of their tech sub-process to record manufacturers' products they bought. By connecting the asset types in the model with the product library, the manufacturer's product data and documents are automatically connected to every single asset, so trade contractors only have to add their installation and commissioning details. This makes the production of a digital health and safety file a doddle. Here we search for the staff room and we see what assets and products were installed. A single click takes us to the product data and also highlights its location on the interactive plan. We now want to check it's been installed and that's where open space comes into play. Rattigans use it to check the BIM model against reality, but it's also great for FMs who want to see what's above a ceiling. When we connect the open space 360 to the staff room in active plan, the validated set of assets from Kobe appear in the panel on the right. The FM team can verify that everything was installed and they have something they can keep up to date with new 360 photos whenever anything changes. I should explain that when we paste a tag on the photo, it's actually written to the database. That's why you can see the colours. Green, they've all been verified. Blue, showing how many still need finding. Schools have told me that the most important asset in a staff room is the water boiler. And if it goes wrong, the help desk wants to provide the engineer with as much information as possible so they can fix it quickly and become a hero with the teachers. Yeah, OK, that's a bit of a stretch. Any important documents from the O&Ms can be attached to the asset model, making it much easier for the engineer. Hopefully this shows how we can make compliance with the increasingly onerous regulations much easier. But what happens with existing buildings when you've no asset information at all? That's very common for Sodexo when they take on FM for an existing estate, so their experts in M&E and Fabric can work remotely using ActivePlan's asset tagging alongside a growing team of third-party experts and best-of-breed applications to create asset lists for each space. Check out the next video where they show how they can use a standard 360 camera to complete an auditable asset survey of 9 PFI schools for a fraction of the time and cost.